Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at an EDC item that sometimes goes overlooked and that is a good fitting belt. Um, if you're the type of person like myself that carries a lot of gear, you know that that can definitely weigh down your pants. So having a good belt is always uh, a good place to start when you think about carrying your EDC system. And this is actually a belt that I've been using for quite some time. And I actually reached out to Grip6 and asked if they, they would be interested in sending a new version over so I can check it out. Now, this is not entirely a brand new version, but it's a new version to me. And the cool thing about it is that it's actually a little bit wider. So it will make carrying my gear a lot more comfortable because sometimes, you know, if you have a thin belt and you put it on too tight, then, you know, it, it, it can be uh, uncomfortable. So it's, uh, it's really awesome to think that a belt is in this tiny little box here, but um, when you see the, um, how cool the Grip6 system is, then you'll realize why it is here. And um, this is actually my go-to belt when I wear jeans and I wanna keep a very minimal form factor. I always go to my Grip6 grip and I'm, I'm really happy to add this particular one to that system. So um, uh, again, thank you for Grip6 to sending it out for me. Um, I have been kind of using it already and I just kind of packaged it back, back up so you guys can see what it looks like inside of the box. So it just comes in this um, little box right here and it says um, USA made, keep it local. So that's really cool. So as you open it up, you just have a little tag right here. So it says Grip6 Belt Company, and it just gives you a couple steps on how to put on the belt, but I'll go ahead and show you guys how that works. So this one right here is um, part of their, uh, there is their work belt system. And basically what that is, is it's actually a thicker nylon strap. So this strap is actually 1.75 inches thick. So, um, you know, obviously, like I mentioned before, it's going to be a thicker belt. So it's for me and for my purpose, it's going to be a lot more uh, comfortable when I wear it. Um, I was actually using their thinner belt. Um, I think I was using the 1.5. So um, just, a, a, you know, a little bit thinner, but that extra width actually does make a little bit of difference, especially if you carry a lot of gear. Now, um, this buckle right here is actually a really cool buckle. It's it's an aluminum buckle, but it's uh, as you guys can see, it has these cutouts, which makes it look really, really unique and really different. Um, and that's a really cool thing about Grip6 is that they have a lot of different styles, uh, colors, I should say, of these straps here. So um, this one right here is a coal color, or it's you know as close to black as you could probably get it. But they have on their site, they have a ton of different colors that you can choose from. And the same thing with buckles. They have a lot of different buckles, different designs, solid ones, um, honeycomb ones, um, you know, and different colors also. So uh, the sky's the limit pretty much. And then you can mix and match however you want it. And the really cool thing is, is that you can actually have one buckle and use multiple straps with it. So that's really cool. Obviously, as long as it's the same size. So... That's just the one thing is that this size, so the work belt um, buckle will not fit the smaller straps. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then obviously vice versa, you won't be able to fit the bigger strap into the smaller buckles. So um, the way that this works is uh, basically it's just a, a long nylon strap. It's actually uh, kind of um, cut off right here, so it makes it easier when you're feeding it through the buckle. But it is burnt, so it's not going to fray or anything like that. And then on the other end, it just has this plastic kind of stopper, so it won't go through it. And basically what you do is once you feed it through your belt loops, you just kind of come from the top right here, put it into the uh, little channel there, and then just tighten it. And then it just stays there. It actually just, by friction, it just pretty much stays there and it will not come loose. So as you guys can see, this is a very thin form factor when you're wearing it. It's not gonna be bulky. Uh, it's not gonna be printing through your shirt or anything like that. So it's gonna be very, very comfortable. And then when you go to take it off, all you have to do is just pull it out and you're good to go. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna turn the camera around and show you guys how to put it on, how to size it, and, um, and how it looks when you're wearing it. All right guys, so uh, I know this isn't a very flattering angle, but I wanted to make sure that you were able to see my waist so you can see when I put on the belt. Again, this is the Grip6 Work Belt. 
Uh, this is the Workload Pro. So the Pro is actually this uh, buckle which has the cutouts on it. The regular work belt, it looks exactly the same, but it doesn't have the cutouts, but it does have the designs of where the cutouts would be. So again, uh, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave a link below to the Grip6 uh, website if you wanna go ahead and check out the different options and stuff like that. So uh, the first thing that you, you need to know is that when you go to order your Grip6, make sure that you order whatever your waist size is. I know with other types of belts, and like, like leather belts with the holes and stuff like that, uh, sometimes they tell you to um, order like a size up. So if you're a 32, order a 34 or something like that. Don't do that with the Grip6, order your actual size. I wear a size 34 waist on my pants and um, I ordered a 34 and it fits perfectly. So basically, uh, all you have to do is go ahead and feed the working end through your belt loops. Again, this one being the work belt, it is a 1.75 inch um, wide strap. So obviously it's gonna fill up a lot more of that area where the belt loops are, which is what I really wanted. Then once you have it here in front of you, you have the slot right here. So you grab the working end over through, um, so you're going from outside to inside through there and then just pull on it and then just feed the remaining of the, of the strap underneath there and then just go tighten it. And then once you're done, there it is. It lays nice and flat. It's very, very comfortable. Um, again, if you order your actual waist size, you will have enough slack so that if you do have to let it out a little, a little bit, let's say, you know, Thanksgiving dinner, you, you put on a couple pounds or something like that, you can go ahead and do that or cinch it down as much as you want. And then once you're done and you wanna go ahead and take it off, all you have to do is lift up from, you know, this is what I do, just lift up from the buckle right here and then just pull the working end out and there it is. Now you're out of the belt and then you can go ahead and go about your day. Now what I found is when I travel, this is actually the best belt to use for that because it's so easy to just take it off and then just kind of roll it up. Uh, especially if I'm going through like TSA or something like that, I can take this off, put it into the bin, and then once I'm, I'm through, I can go ahead and put it on. Now, the really cool thing about this is also, you can um, use it either way. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, it is, um, you know, multifaceted to be able to use it that way. Again, just uh, slide it on through your belt loops all the way around, go ahead and put it through, and then just cinch it down to your desired um, tightness, and then there it is. So again, very, very comfortable, uh, nice low profile, so it's not gonna be protruding or anything like that. So if you carry a lot of gear like myself, maybe you carry some pouches or stuff on your belt, this is gonna be a good option for that because it's nice and light, but it's gonna keep everything in place. The really awesome stuff also is that um, Grip6 has a ton of different colors on the, the straps, a ton of different sizes, a uh, ton of different colors on and um, styles of the buckles, and you can mix and match as long as it's the same size strap and buckle, you can go ahead. So if you want a, a cold one like this one here, which is a darker color, and then you want something um, you know maybe brighter like a blue or a brown or something like that, you know the same buckle will fit the different straps. And again, it's really easy to go ahead and take that off. You have the plastic tip right here, which is actually holding the strap from coming off, but all you have to do is just slide it right off the belt, and there it is. You know, here's your buckle. And then, you know, you grab your new one, and just feed it through, and there it is. Now it's almost like you were to have a brand new belt, but in using the same buckle there. So again, um, I think for what you're getting from the belt, it definitely is a good option. You know, not just for EDC purposes, but just for anybody that wants a nice, lightweight, minimalistic, um, very easy to put on, very easy to take off belt, uh, I would definitely recommend you checking it out. So as I already mentioned, I'll leave a link to the Grip6 website below so you guys can check out all the different options they have available and maybe pick one up for yourself. So there it is, a quick look at the Gr uh, Work Belt Pro from Grip6. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.